Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kakerins. More Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is in store for today. This is episode number two. First time playing it. And for those of you who have been following along, I just want to let you know, I have not watched any of the Rebirth gameplay. Um, you know, obviously I know the main storyline, so I'm anxious to see what the differences are going to be, uh, just with the fact that it's a new game, but also this whole concept of parallel worlds and and having um, uh, two different uh, like timelines and things like that is just it's it's crazy to me, and I love all of the uh, fan fiction hypotheses that have been coming through in the chats because I find it quite fascinating and I love the the one that I love the most is the fact that somebody had said that um, possibly Avalanche went forward without Cloud and that's why when they showed up in this last episode when Zack was carrying Cloud and they saw all the devastation it was because they were getting there late to the party so to speak so I find that interesting and now I'm also noticing in that um, entry scene where, Z uh, where Cloud was going with Sephiroth for his first mission it's it's funny because Cloud was actually kind of acting like Zack like all more confident and stuff like that so it is really neat to see how this is going to uh, unfold with this new version. So I'm ready to play it. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Hit that notification bell so you know when the videos drop. And uh, that way you'll know when they're here. We can watch them together. All right. I think that's enough of that. I'm ready to play. And I think you're ready to watch. So let's go. Okay, everybody. Here we are. We are back at the inn. We're at the inn at Calm. And um, I find it interesting. We haven't done too much yet with this with this menu and playing with um you know like our materia and our qu equipment you know so i don't think we have anything that is not yet equipped because these say that they're basically all equipped to these folks we don't have anything that's not equipped so because i think there would be no face next to it if it wasn't equipped yet so that's the way that that works okay and some of those things are even locked at this point. So we're still just getting started, boys. Are you ready? I'm ready. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Let's look around. I know I'm supposed to probably go downstairs. Right? Okay. Oh, and that's right. We had the um, awkward moments between Tifa and Cloud. From our humble establishment. The innkeeper. Though it may not look like much. It should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's Blood? A Queen's Blood starter deck? Is that like a table game? You can now play the card game. Find other players denoted by that little icon around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the menu. Well, isn't that interesting? Um, learn, yes. Let's learn how to play. All right, we got these little, these, I've never usually very good at these. Like, so some people like to play, um, oh, there was a card game that was really, really popular on Twitch that was kind of like this. All right, each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes. That span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald palm. Okay. So we've got. So we're seeing that on the cards, there is a diagram. It says the card has no abilities. I'm going to guess that that's the um, way it can move. And then you have one pawn up at the upper left and then the number one there. So that one can probably go in that direction. This one, got no abilities. It's a one and a two. There's the Gargantua. Or no, it had no abilities. One and a one. Then we have the Riot Trooper. And then we have this. Okay, let's, um, let, if, I'm wondering if that's gonna be our defense. We should probably take that. Oh, how do I how do I move it 
Oh, it's telling me I have to use that one. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not going to let me do anything but this one. Okay. View hand? Okay, I guess it, it wants me to... Put it right there. Okay. Opponent's turn. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. Okay, so I have one. New positions will be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of the card is its power, while the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. All right, so it hasn't said anything, though, about the upper left corner. Okay. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. All right, so it wants me to do this and have it overlap with one of my existing positions. Um, I think that's where I want. Okay. When one of your card's position tiles overlaps with a position you control, the position rises in rank, as there are two pawns on that tile now. Cards can... There's two cards... Overlaps. Okay. Cards can be that position. Oh, so the position is ranked too. Cards can be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is donated by the number of pawns in the top left corner. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you have to raise the rank of your positions. I see. Okay. You now have a rank two position. Try placing your rank two card on it. Okay. Which is this guy. Okay. Um. When one of your card positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as yours. Now, claiming that position... No, oh, note. Claiming that position will not raise its rank. Okay. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the total points on each side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, while the ones on the right represent your opponents. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. Okay. These are tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power and more lanes than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you can pass with triangle when both players pass consecutively, the game will end. Okay. So I've got a two there. Right now I'm winning on that end. So. I don't have anything with the power of two. So I'm thinking, let's take this, uh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it there. Alright, so they've got a 5. They've got a 2. Hmm. This guy would do well because it's a two. Hmm. I don't want to lose that one. You know what I mean? Hmm. 
Maybe I do the gargantuar. I don't know. Let's see what that does. Because that will allow me to do the plus two and and all that, I think, maybe. Okay. Ooh, magic pot. Heck yeah, let's use that sucker. Put that there, because it's a level three. Point go. All right, five to one. What do we want to do? That's a three. What if we used um, this one? We put this here. I think I'm going to lose this one. I do believe I am. That's a level one. So, um... Let's put... Which one do I want to do? Um... I don't know, maybe this one. There's there's no cars, yeah. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with a higher power in a lane has their power added to the score. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After calculating the winner for each lane, the player will be... Okay, the highest score. So I got 9 there. 15 there. There we go. Victory! Nice. This concludes the Queen Blood's tutorial. You can add more cards to your collection. Alright. Nice. I like that. Try to have Queen Blood's player in town. Queen Blood's players await your challenge in the rounds. Well, nice indeed. What do you think about that? You guys like those kind of games? All right, is this Tiva's room? Is she gone? Hmm. All right. What do we have there? A bottle of ether. Boy, my camera is whipping around really fast. I hope it's not freaking you all out. So what is that? A little notepad? Okay, I guess it's nothing. And that's how I run. I see. Uh, what does this door do? I think this is where Tifa and them were. Hmm. Oh, they've got a little... What is this? Look at this little porch. Oh, Aerith would have loved this. Shoot, I would have loved that. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, and you've got one here too? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right, because I went up here. Oh, is everybody upstairs? Oh, I guess they are. Or at least somebody's upstairs. No? No? Oh, she must be downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just a thing. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm just, you know, running everywhere. Where do I need to go? I need to go downstairs, right? Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this... Is that the radio I hear? I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Hello, Broden. have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. Okay. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. <laughs> missed roll call. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? It is sound advice. Adjust your party's gear by assessing material and equipment. Perhaps right. a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Of course. Good idea. 
By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Folios, yeah. yes. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. Okay. The first customization is always free. Well, that's good news too. Okay. Nice. Calm's a simple but beautiful town. Okay. You have anything to, to say? Place looking spick and span. You do. Down, especially Which, of course. I heard. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 place. Where is... Oh, it's there it is. It's the radio. Okay. Caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and... Finally. Where is everybody? Hey, Red. Rough day yesterday, huh? Yeah, it was... It was kind of rough. You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without Aww. your help. I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Yeah, was that's true. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Aw, join the party, Red 13. <laughs> nice. We get to control Red because we couldn't on the last game. Oh, nice. Uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Of course. Sure thing. Yeah, because I need to know what kind of limit breaks and everything he's got. Hmm. The rook's got a backbone. He do. He do. He do indeed. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. This higher the level, the more skills and abilities. Okay. Oh, enlarge. I can enlarge that. Oh, I see. All right. So you all need to know I am all about doing side quests and missions if it's going to help the overall lore um if there is a mission that's something like here i'll give you an example of one that i don't care about when you're playing final fantasy 10 there's that dumb achievement where if you dodge a hundred lightning bolts you get a special sword and it's this amazing magnificent sword. maybe not a sword but a limit break or something like that i'm not going to worry myself about those monotonous like nobody wants to see that stuff but when it's a mission that's going to enhance the story and develop the lore and we get some goodies along the way well that is what we are going to do here on this game so that's what i am going to do and uh if you haven't seen some of the missions maybe one will come as a surprise to you you never know so there you go all right well let's see what we can get our uh our hands on here oof that is quite the uh Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I see this map? <gasps> There's the map. So we've got the village. Oh, look at this map. Okay, this is unexplored. This is where we basically have to go. But we've got things here. So there's Nene. There's Ned. Just way over here. Armed and dangerous main scenario. We'll call it calm main scenario. Okay. Edge of the weapons vendor. Okay, so these are main things. Searching for friends. Okay. I do, I do see. There's Tifa. Uh, morning morning everyone's kind of off doing their own thing i noticed say uh this tank remind you of anything yeah the water tower uh, the, the place i made a promise to you yeah the place i made that promise to you you remember the dress i wore it was one of my favorites uh it was the, the blue, blue one. one with a bit of green in there yeah Nice. Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings toward Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as green smiley face and blue smiley face. So how do you do that? Um, 
Oh, it's it's right over their head. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. That indeed it is. All right. Nothing like a leisurely stroll to clear your head. Indeed, oh, indeed. Man, there is so much to explore. There's so much to explore. So many activities. Is it in here? Now this looks like a coffee shop. So Aerith is over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up. That I did. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If Aww. so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, I do have some. Climb the clock tower together? Sure. Um. Yeah. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. <laughs> Relationship is changed. Since it was my idea. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower. Okay. Okay. This reminds me. Is this kind of like? related to um being at the golden compass in the original uh, cactuar kings completely sold out cactuar kings hey there welcome to magnata books sure oh, i take it this is your first visit to one of our stores it is well customization can't seem tricky to the uninitiated it takes time and experience to get it right okay but i think you'll pick it up quick enough let's give it a try Okay, yeah, let's do it. Spend skill points at Magnata Books locations in Automat to augment your party's folios. That's unlocking powers latent in your allies. Oh. Yeah, begin the tutorial. Unlocking skill course. Press X. Oh, it's the wheel like in 10. <clears throat> or whatever it's called. What was it called in 10? The, um, the Matrix or whatever? The orange skill cores can be unlocked by skill spending skill points move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does for now move to the skill core in the upper left cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a ranged attack limit level increase partner is Aerith. okay didn't unlock it you hold you've mastered the firework blade ability you have mastered a new synergy ability. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting a character's strengths to suit your play style. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. A character will earn skill points when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the art of swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be reset at any time and the SB spent will be returned so feel free to experiment with it oh nice so you can reset that's them that's about all we can do for now but we Very haven't good. even skimmed the surface believe you me there's much more to this than meets the eye all right so can we like do that for yet, all of them but you'll see okay so do i have to do it here with oh, him back for more so what about let's see here Aerith has got five skill points This doesn't really. S okay. Divine punishment. Tifa makes use of Eris magic to deal damage across a wide area. Well, shoot with Tifa. Yeah, I love that. Ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Well, this is pretty much automatic. We're going to do this one. Oh, can I not do this? Yes, I can. Nice. Mastered the Divine Punishment ability. Okay. Um, let's just say Red has got five. What? Have I not done this with him? Red. Five of... Oh, I see. I see. I do see. Okay, so Red, he can team up with your partner to charge forward while guarding against incoming attacks. Or Barrett sends Red 3 flying towards the enemy at a high velocity. I just want to see that happen. So we're going to do that one. 
Oh, overpaying ability. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, so I guess Barrett actually can do stuff too. So Barrett can... Barrett and Red 13 hone their focus. Team up with your partner to take a strong defense. You know, this one just looks really good because then we're going to be able to do some of these extra things. So let's do this one. Nice. United refocus. And I guess Tifa has um, one here too. Tifa can do Cloud and Tifa leap into the air, deliver spinning attack. Team up with a partner to perform a jumping attack. Okay, so that's anybody. Let's do this because it looks like these are specially designed for Tifa. Temporary unlimited magic power. The Synchro Cyclone ability. I can't wait to try these. These See are great. Okay, so we've done that. Now, are you still hanging out here or did you... Okay, she left. All right. So that's the bookstore, right? Is there something behind? That looks like it's on the other side. Crap, I'm gonna be so late. That's what I get for no. I don't think I can get over there unless it's... That's interesting. It feels like it's on uh, the opposite side over game. there, which it very well might be. I just want to explore. Yeah, what's over here? Is this potions? Hello, and welcome to my humble shop. Yay! Let's buy some things. Potion. Own ten. Cost fifty gill, and I've got two thousand gill. I've got three Phoenix Downs. I don't have a single antidote. It's always good to have at least one of those. Cushion allows you to use broken down rest stops. Um, yes. Can I get 10 of those, please? Oh, not enough gill. I see. All right. Let's just get one to start. So these we all own, so I don't worry about that. Steel, I do not own a steel. We're gonna need that. Booster pack suppressive strikers. Uh, yes, please, and thank you. Okay. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. I hope I didn't use all my money on potions and now I can't buy anything cool regarding um Boy, this city is amazing. Weapon-wise, I'm thinking about weapons. I might have screwed myself for weapons. All right, let's see. I heard this avalanche is tearing it. Need something for the kids? No, nothing for the kids. All right, I need to go in here. Welcome. Weapons yeah. vendor. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Isn't it? Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. So we get to do upgrades? Like, I could show you. Of course. Oh, it's the, okay, it's the weapon skills. We know this. Sure, let's do the tutorial. Here you can see your party's current equipment, the weapon levels, and the amount of skill points. Very good. Select the Buster Sword. Weapons abilities and acquired skills are displayed here. Focused Thrust. Weapon school and stat boost at incoming levels. Improved Punisher. Okay. Now try equipping a skill. Set what? Okay, that's pause. Select the nodes in which you can equip spills. Select node. Here you would oh you have to select them it's just not like you've automatically done it max hp select weapon ability you can do automatically allocate okay that's fine this can be done for the auto i don't want to do anything auto though that's fine okay see what i tell you it's Just very make easy. Sure you take care. Oh, we will. Here, check out what we got to offer. Of course. 
New weapons can be found. Yes, very good. All right, so first, um, let's see what we have to buy. I only have 670. I can't buy crap. We can look at these later, though. Ooh, 3,000. Up. Look at that. It's raising it up. Up, but up, but up, but up. We'll get revival earrings later. Okay. You take care of that weapon now. I sure will. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability. Using the ability repeatedly meeting its proficiency bonus. Yep. We know all about that. Go to clock tower when you're ready. No, that's fine. Um so how do I do this? This is about upgrading weapons. Buster sword. Set no, I don't wanna. I see. Set weapon skills. Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Yeah, let's do these little ones first. Leather gloves. Skills. Martial arts mastery. Increases the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. Increases attack power while unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost at chi level 1 and 10% at chi level two. Um, tell you what, let's do this because that's going to be more right away. Your guard stick. Wind damage up, not so fleeing familiar. Increases fleeting familiar. Uh, let's do this one. And then you, my good friend. Restores HP when activating Vengeance Mode. Increases Counterspin Potency. Hmm. Interesting. We'll do that. Okay, so that's cool. So that tells you how many slots you do have, right? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. All right, so next thing to do really is just to go to the water tower right a date with Aerith. okay a date with there it is this way i believe oh listen i love that that is great You're trying to take a good picture there aren't you Hey, yes, I'm here. here. It's the clock tower. Let's get started then, shall we? Okay. Okay, Aerith. I'll follow you all the way upstairs. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. She just is a fast runner. All right, I'm here. And you're running away again. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Whoa! Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Aww. Don't take her for granted. No, not at all. Oh, geez. Is that Shinra showing up? What? Just 
Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready for the war? Shinra security. You know the drill. Trooper. Super duper troopers. Look at these people. They're just coming in from everywhere. Oh, I can't wait to see what the battle sequences are going to be like in this. This is going to be great. They're looking for us, aren't they? Yes, they are, Got indeed. Let's go. Fugitives, we are. Oh, that was convenient. What is this, a fire call? Jeez. Just what do you think you're going to do? Mm-mm-mm. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Did you, like, rat on us? There isn't much time. We need oh. to get back to the end. Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Should we, though? No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Yeah, let's go, I suppose. Follow me. All right. We'll follow you. You haven't seen nothing. It's like the penguins. You haven't seen anything. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgard. That was you, wasn't it? No, it was somebody else. It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. Or with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. Okay. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Sure. Up and over. Womp, womp, womp. Let's go, Cloud. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen mm -hmm. anyone suspicious? I know that you mentioned it. I think I might have. So perhaps it was Are the birds going to freak us out? Let's listen in. Get out of Get here. Out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about, fugitive air about them. I could remember their faces. I know it's someone else. Stop wasting our time. Alright. We did it. We just gonna keep going. We just gonna keep going. What happens if I jump off? They turn up yet? No, but we're nope. still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. Oh, okay. He's out there running around. Yep, we see you. Because we're gonna slide down this pole right here. Oh, there's a thing right there. That went well. The end's not much further. But stay on your toes. Stay on your toes. We going in? Let's go in. Now what do we do? Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel oh. in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. 
Okay, then. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. Oh, I remember that. Yes. We're going to go to the Chocobo farm? Take this. What is it? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A what? Tea, but it still works. They've added so much to this. This is crazy. Item trans, ten sprigs of sage. A transmuter. Are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Oh. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. <laughs> Okay, let's go. From the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world, or improve your craftsmanship. You can now transmute. Yes, I would like the tutorial. Begin the tutorial. First, open the item transmuter menu. Your currently transmutable items are listed here. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can create. These are the materials and necessary amounts for selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmuting potion, 10 sage and three planets blessings. Transmuting an item for the first time grants experience, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Transmute a potion by selecting from the list and holding X. Created a potion. Finish tutorial. Material can be gained through transmutation. You can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found in the field or in chests and gained through combat. There are also items that can be obtained, that only be obtained via. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So that's in the menu. Oh, sorry. So I can't do that now? Is that what you're telling me? No, there it is. Item transmuter. Okay. I can do an antidote. I don't have any items right now. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, let's go down here. There they are. Air raid shelter. Oh, you made it. We did. All in one piece. All in one piece. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. <laughs> 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 oh, Got that? Uh, oh. Yes. Now, let's move. Let's go. All right. Let's move. You go first, everybody. Let's go. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks yeah, that like would that would make sense. But we're not going to skip the chest that I see right here. Three sprigs of laurel. Okay, then. Remember that crazy sewer music in the remake where you fought those crazy goons? Weirdest music ever. Come on, let me out. Ouch. Woo, that's bright. 
All right, so we're out of calm. I guess we got to go to the, the, the Chekaba farm. Whoa! Just look at it all. It's so green. It is. Oh, wow. Okay, this is very Horizon Zero Dawnish. I'm sorry. This is crazy. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Ah. Uh. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Yeah. Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, you left, you left, right. Uh oh. Sees all that. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Oh boy, I hope I didn't miss out on doing a couple of those things that I saw. Or were those just opportunities go to play that card game? I swear there were two things that I saw on the map. Oh, Aerith, you're so cute. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Follow me. We're gonna follow Red, okay. Alright. Let's get this show on the road, people. This is great. Choosing your party. Adjust your battle from the combat screen and create up to three preset parties to swap between. Press the pad to open the map and get your bearings. While well, story markers and discovery markers will automatically be added, you can place your own pin by pressing R3. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of as marked by the orange X. Conspirator joined the party. Oh, what are these? Things we can pick up? Oh. Materials can be acquired. Picture from a combat or purchased at a Chakaba track shop. If you ever need of a specific materia, take note of its symbol as it may point you in the right direction. Obtained out in the world, dropped by enemies, hard to come by. Pressing the pad in the item transmitter will reveal more information. Interesting. Okay. So am I supposed to pick a party? Party. Leader. Oh, I see. We have leader. Red. I see. How do I switch them, though? I don't know. Maybe I do it somewhere else. I guess we're just going to stick with what we got here. Ooh, I want to go, like, up there. And just look. Can I just come up here and look? What is way up here? This looks fun. Uh, it's one bay. Um, um, but we... <laughs> I love it. Can I ride down this little, uh... And just go wee, 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 all the way home. There we go. Oh, here's some things. Holy yo. We got things everywhere. Nice. It's kind of neat how you're, we're looting as we go here. Well, yes, I know. That probably hurt Cloud. I'm so sorry. Thresher water wheel. You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities. Open up all the chests. 
Heck yeah, I will. Did that give us a little flash of like where we could go? Um. um yeah, so let's come up here. Interesting. Oh my, that's cool looking. But is there anything inside this thing? I don't think so. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Well, there's a chest right there. Hold on. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh no, am I stuck? Where have I gone? <laughs> Oh, I see what you did for me. Thank you, game. He's... He can jump around lots of places. This is totally new, for sure. Look at all these things over here. This is awesome! All right, we're going to go up there again. And we're going to... Um, Go all the way around to the... We're going to do this. Is there anything all the way at the end of theirs? No. But that one kind of like goes down. It's almost... Oh, wait a minute. What is that? A mist potion. Potion. A mist potion. Woohoo. All right, let's do this again. Sorry that you guys are just following along blindly. All right, let's go this way. This looks like this could be useful and to our advantage. I don't know, maybe. Ooh. Nice. We have lots of things. Oh, look at all this. Okay. And it says for me to go this way. Oh, look at this. So if you would have stumbled across this, you could have gotten up here anyways. How cool. Nice indeed. So where we're going? Do we got to get up there somehow? Where's this map? Wait a minute. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Because I am totally not where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> what is this? Co-conspirator? Wait a minute. Put a distance between you and Kong. But this is calm, isn't it? Yeah, that was the calm air reach. Yeah, this is where I need to go. I need to keep going this way, I believe. Alright, let's see here. All right, so we have this. Come on. Up, up, up. Pick all this up. What is this little thing here? It's interesting. Whoa, is that you guys? Got some, 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 some blessings of stuff. This is cool. What else do we have around here? Can we go in this? This little area? I guess not. 
All right, we're still kind of, we still got to actually go kind of that way, right? We got so many little houses, so many places to explore. Do -do -do. Hey there, strangers. All right, we need to go that way. I wonder if we were supposed to go up into this mountainy area. There's a road down there. Maybe we can just follow the road. So much to explore, but I think we kind of need to go around this way. We can grab things as we go. Well, I like how we can just hop over stuff. Come on, Aerith. Stay with us. Where am I now? Kind of like up here or something. Wait, is this the town? Yes, it's down here. Whee! All right. All right, I'm kind of where I'm supposed to be. All right. You be the avalanche, folks. Yes. It's okay. I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shin was leaving no stone unturned. Uh -uh. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. Dock by the swamp. Shin was forgotten it's even there. The dock by the swamp. Okay. The dock by the swamp. Oh, I see. Okay. This is where we can buy some vending machines, right? What do you have to sell? Oh, I see. Some things will be on sale. So I can buy one. Yep. All right. Still don't have much money. Let's sit down. So the benches are what do the um, healing of everything, right? Very good, very good. Okay. But we still have to go. I don't know where. Where are we going? Eight hundred and forty seven abandoned dock. Here's this abandoned dock. Guess we just got to find it. An abandoned dock. Oh snap, is this where we like fight things? Use assess on an enemy to reveal its elemental weaknesses. So how do I... Wait a minute, what did I just do? And now I can do an assess. So that would be ability, assess, and this, it's, a, it's an elephant dunk. Right. Resistant, I mean, it's weak against fire and blizzard. Okay. Very cool. So how do I change? Okay. Red three can definitely take down enemies with this razor shot claws and fangs. Press square to swipe at foes or hold it down. Successfully guarding against attacks fills the vengeance gauge, which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance road. Increasing his page. Okay. Whoa. 
And then, yes, unleash magic attempts. Yes. So it's my turn? Womp, womp. Here it comes. This one's for you. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, so now you can do a synergy ability. Maybe? No? Spells, you only have arrow, but let's start using some of these, yes? Arcane Ward, Prey. See, these are all familiar things. Let's let's just do arrow on this one. Oh, I hate how do I... Okay, I'm using the wrong button to... Okay, now you're staggered. Very good. And you can just do like a focus thrust. All right. Keep it together. What is your special ability? Sidewider. What does that do? <laughs> Very good. All right, do it. Do another one. Do the sentinel stance. What does that do? Okay, fun. That's fun. I, I gotta learn how to do the synergy abilities. I do remember that though from the demo. I might want to go back and rewatch that because it did actually help you out a lot. And you can synergy attack with one of your comrades. Hey there, friend. Do you need some help? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, it's Bill! Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. Of course. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill. And you can count on me for a lift anytime. Hello, Bill. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. Nice. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> Do you? Do you? I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. <laughs> Young love, that was great. Yeah, we gotta head over here to the swampy area. Do 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 do. Do 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 it! Do it! Do it! I got it. Um, spells, fire. It's on now. Keep it together. Follow my And Red, what kind of spells do you have? You've got bio. You want to just play around with that? On, then. Oh, they all died at the same time. Look at that. Very good. Very good indeed. Which way are we going? We're going this way. Is there stuff we pick up after they die? No. Not indeed. Do, 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 do. Oh, what is... Who is looking at us? Is that like a wombat? Who is that? 
Hey there, buddy. Um, can we assess? What are you? Weaknesses against that. Nothing particularly special. Oh, you jerk! Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> now let's do it. Let's do something crazy. How about a stardust ray? So it's my turn? Whoa! Okay, that was that was great. <laughs> Red, you little devil, you. <laughs> Is there anything in this, uh, little abandoned area? Looks like the answer is no. All right. Gotta head to the swamp. What, what's angered by us? What is angered by our presence? Abilities, triple slash. If I can't, are they all dead? There we go. Then it's on you. <laughs> You're dead. I love this Stardust Ray. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Mastered the Stardust ability. Okay, very good. Very good, Red 13. Oh my gosh, I'd like you in the party by all means. By all means. Uh, blink, blink. Okay. We got a chest right here. It's a purple chest. What does that mean? A sleek saber. Um. So I can do this, which is much stronger. So if I select that, is the same things equipped? And the answer is yes. So let's get the steel materia in there for you. ETB charge up or unrelenting increases the number of consecutive slashes. Sure, why not? What the heck? Okay. So we got a new sword. So do we gotta go all the way over there? This is very murky. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Mm-hmm. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? Right. You trust these rotting hulks? <laughs> rotting hulks. We could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Oh, Where? the swamp with the um, snake you had to avoid. Slow, you can rent a chocobo. Yes, we gotta go get a chocobo. safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird! A bird! <laughs> we need to go see Bill and get a bird. 
Well, let's can go we rent get some birds. Let's go rent some birds. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. You guys are so cute. Fine. <laughs> All right, we gotta go get to Bill's Chickabo camp. Just wanna see if there's anything else over here. Anything shiny? I mean, there's some things we can. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. Uh... Do much anything else? Okay, let's um, yeah, let's go, let's go get some birds. Not too far away. Let's go to the Chuckabo Ranch. Yes, this reminds. Me. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Um, as far as abilities, can we steal from one of these guys? Take the lead. Follow my Stole a chunk of door. I'll show you what I stop it! You need to pray. Okay, can you pray for us, please? My turn. Um, let's see here. Who can do cure? Let's do cure on red. It's on you. Is that it? Red, do something. Oh, it's because he's disappeared. So it's my turn? Oh, you jerk. Taking over. That's it. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. Yes, we know this. Um, should we like heal up a little bit? Do a potion multi use. Aerith. I think that's it. I think that's all we really need. That's all we really need. Alright, let's get moving. We gotta get the chocobo. We gotta get the chocobos. Ooh, what is this? Well, many check is built in the days of the Republic have fallen to spare. Your benches are intact. If you use a cushion, you can sit down for a rest and... Oh, yeah, well, I don't need to worry about that. No. We're fine. We'll save that cushion for later. Which way we're going? We're going up this way. Come on, what kind of crazy abilities do you have? Firebolt Blade? That looks fun. After you. No, it wasn't. That was great. Okay, we are almost there. What am I hearing? What is that? This is cool. Can we go in it? Oh, it's locked. Well, dang. That would have been really neat. What is this little orc family over here we're going to take care of? Hey, guys. <laughs> Whoops! 
Can we do a synergy ability? No. Keep it together. Get him. Keep it together. I'll take care of him. That's that. This one's for you. I want to do a synergy. Can we do a synergy? No. How does that work? How does the synergy thing work? Do the arcade? No. Um. Whoosh. Is that it? They've all been defeated. Here's the Chakaba farm right up here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hey, Bill. Pleasure to see you all again. Welcome to, my, welcome humble to ranch. my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed. Indeed. I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Yes, we are. Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic Look, it's a whole little village. To be, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. Oh, this is great. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. Chocobos. Them, I was Chocobos. No than a Chocobos. Pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering. Look at the detail they put into this guy's skin and face swamps and everything. These. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Wow. Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. All right, let's look at this map. Wow, so much. I don't think I can really, really read much in there. Oh, wow, so much stuff. And let's sit down for a second. That'll heal us all up. Okay, so that is fully restored. Can I do anything here? I don't think so, no. Okay. I'm just gonna look around. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Uh, is this him? Howdy. Oh, look at this you little it's kid. Outside. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Oh, we gotta gotta get some? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Huh. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Ten grand? <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. You're gonna sell me some greens? Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. <laughs> Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by Pops. looking for his tracks. 
Find those, and you're sure to find <laughs> the people. They're calling him Pops. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. Okay. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. Like it. If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Nice. Okay, so we gotta talk to her because she probably is gonna sell us the Sorry greens. About my brother. Oh, he he's just doing his job. We understand, I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Oh, where'd they go? Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah. yeah. The Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Yes. Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone. Chloe. Oh. That's none of these good folks business. Wait a minute, is that Chloe? Is it the one whose uncle is Sam's is the Don? The names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Oh no. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were okay, always we got his some favorite greens. treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. All right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy what do you will throw have? a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. Nice. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Okay. A rancher's tax shop will have chocobo gear for your sale. It's going to be traded for golden plumes. All right. Do I have any golden plumes? No. Hi. Numerous ashes. Oh, these are. Oh, I see. These, these, these are things. Okay. Gotcha. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. But what is this? Where is this taking me? To a chest. All right, so I need to find this Chocobo, just like in the regular story. All right, let's grab some of these. Ooh, a timeless rod. Isn't that for, um, that's for Aerith. A guard stick, if she can get the timeless rod. Yeah, which is much better. So let's do that. And then you've got the ability to do some things here too. I guess we should do the Enduring Ward. And there's no material that's not claimed. Yes, okay. I'm glad we poked around and got that. All right, Pico. All right. You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Yeah, let's go look for some tracks. Just, mm. What is this in 20 paces telling me? Oh, I can't just hop over this big old fence. Obviously. Obviously. I need to exit out the gates. Do, do, do. All right, so it's going to be some ungodly, nobody knows how long distance. What is this? It's like flickering out here. Is that just wind? Reminds me of, um, the, um, what was the game I played 
Not shadows die twice, the other one. Where the wind kind of told you where to go. Okay, wait a minute. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Gotta be quiet about it. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. That's right. Hey, you know we're not here to kill him, right? Right. Yeah. We gotta squat down low, though. Approach a Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract Chocobos by throwing stones you picked up. Use L1 to aim and to throw. Okay. Hmm. See if I can get this guy first try. I don't think so. I think he's going to see me. Okay, I'm right here. Of course he spotted me. How do I use the greens though? Hmm. Indeed. All right, let's, oh, I'm sorry, let's retry. Where are the, um... Uh oh, I need to go to Pico, is what I need to do. This one doesn't really move too much. It's that other one. All right. All right. We're going to wait for a second. Because he's about to turn around. As soon as he goes. <coughs> Dang it. I need to get a rock. Yes, I'll retry, but... I need some rocks. Where are some rocks that I can pick up? Or is that something that I do with the X? Oh, there's a rock. Oh yeah, they've been behind me all this time. Oh, it poked me right here by the checkpoint. I see. Okay. Aim. Can I do it like behind you? <coughs> now what do I do though? Okay. Good bird. Did we get it? Obtained two golden blooms. Nice. And do I give it the greens? Yes. There's the greens. Oh, isn't, oh, he, isn't just he just the, the cutest? cutest? Yes. <laughs> 
I love it. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. Yep, he's gonna go back to the thing. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> yep, there he goes. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. All right, let's go. Back to the ranch. Follow that chocobo. <laughs> All right. And we're back. Exactly. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Very good. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Of course. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? Okay. Sure. Who's calling me? Oh, look! Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. It's Chadley. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's Chadley. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much material. Nice. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. What was Though that? Your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Internal now, dialogue. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Oh, okay. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were yeah, by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting oh, for yeah, we've someone seen those. to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. Nice. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. That would be awesome. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, all of these but things, they're just well. like pouring. They're unloading all of the opportunities and extra things you can do. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something Intel like on that. Grasslands Runway Towers started, has then. been registered. See that tower? That's your first target. All right, let's go do it. You and can do this that. We'll activate it. Okay, we've acquired the Chad module. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Sure. Let's go. Let's go to this tower and do the things that he's asking us to do. Because he, he creates some cool stuff. You know, it's really neat battling the summons to acquire them in the, um, what was that called? The, the hologram, whatever, virtual reality. Is this where we put our thing in? The Chad module. Here we go. And it's connected. What is it going to do? Oh, okay. So it's like a, it's like a network grid. It's like turning on a cell tower. It reminds me of 
Any of you all ever play, um, um, uh, like the Far Cry? If you've played any Far Cry games, can you tell me what's your favorite Far Cry? That'll be something that I'd love to see in the comments. If you've played Far Cry, do you have any favorite games? Because I love those games too. They're amazing. Okay, so we got towers everywhere. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Create the REM wave towers you encounter and help. I hope Chadley. you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. Yes. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid, Quid pro, pro quo. quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Um, developing materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What nice. I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. Oh. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you nice. happen to have any questions about world intel? Yes, Remnawave Towers. These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon okay. in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan right. for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest. Oh, such so as it long uh, opens up the map. And rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often clean oh, these installations. Okay. Do you happen to have any questions? Yes, what about the combat simulator? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena. That's nice. the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator. As Shinra developed the stationary models first. And right. if not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also nice. endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them. In oh, fact, cool. after pouring over stories from the grassland, I have finished implementing a new one. Titan? A towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions? Um, specific intel related tasks. Which particular task would you like to learn? Oh gosh. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To okay. Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of yeah. knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you okay. still have questions about world intel, Yes, what about combat assignments? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures okay. and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world in Okay, crystal analysis. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me. Summons. That of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions. All right. And the pro proto relic. Uh, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no mm. telling what the sources might be. And Interesting. since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather, A rather enduring, enduring name, name sure. So. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately, if you still have questions. All right, I think we're good. Do you happen to have any questions about what? Uh, that would be a no. In that case, that's why we got to do no all of the questions. To begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands, though hardly kind of substantial, data? it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Fire and ice. Oh, it's fire and blizzard together. Auto cast. Activate auto cast. Allows an ally to automatically use spells with link materia. Morph allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain can be defeated in this fashion. Auto unique ability allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Tifa will also use unbridled strength when not actively controlled. Um, yeah. Can I get that? Creating new materia. Does it say, does it cost anything? 
Oh, 10 data points, and I have 20. All right, so let's do that. And I like this fire and ice materia. All right. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just, just ask. ask. Right. Now, can we do um, the summons? Yeah, speak with Chatterley to access the simulator. So before we do that, with materia and equipment, Okay, you can... What is this? This is poison. Fire and ice. And what was the other one? Auto unique ability materia. I like both of these. So I'm just going to give you these. But wait a minute. What about... Aerith has some things too. I know they're linked. Uh, we'll deal with things that we can link later. For the time being, I know it's redundant, but, you know, that's just what we've got to do. Okay. All right. But I still can't change my party. I'm still confused as to how I can... Uh... Wait a minute, is that... All right, let's Ow. talk to you. I have recreated Titan, the mythical Colossus of the Grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its material. Of course I want to try this. Um, use the combat simulator. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can do something with Titan. Now, is it going to be all three of us or is it just me? Summon Entity Titan Combat Simulator. Nice. Okay, I see. These these are like locked. Grasslands region intel. Oh, so this is how you can get some intel. Nice. All right, let's see what we can do here. Select a difficulty. Analyze the summons crystals to face off against a weaker version of the deity. So we can't do these other ones yet. So that's the only one that... All right, that's what I have to do. Oh, and who do I want? I want Cloud, I want Red. We're just gonna do these three. We're gonna see what happens here. Hello, Mr. Titan. Unblockable attacks. When an enemy is about to use an attack that cannot be guarded, the scary triangle with the exclamation. Take a vast okay. Keep it up. All right. So it's my turn? Yeah. Let's do this. You jerk. Okay. Um No, 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 what am I doing? Okay, spells. Can we do um, cure on yourself? You're a jerk. Nope. What we are going to do is we're going to do this Stardust Ray. Game will end when all parties HP. Yeah, we know this. Oh no! Yes. Nope. Nope. All right. We first of all. Oh, you don't have any items. can't use any items in here. Oh no. It's on you. My turn. 
All right, let's let's do a spell again on red. Okay, red. Do you? You don't have the ability to. Do, okay, so you're gonna do your sentinel thing again. Nope. No, get off of me! Get off of me! This is no bueno. You need to do yourself. No. Nope. 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 All right. We do have some things here. Um. We got a limit break. Let's switch it up. You've got a limit break, Blood Fang. What is this gonna do? He's barely finished. We're not ready for this yet. He's not even damaged. Yeah, we're dead. We're all dead. We're dead. <laughs> we're dead. And we're all dead. Wow, I guess I'm not ready for him yet. So we're just going to put a pause on that. Challenge failed. Okay, very good. He's going to say next time. Analyzing one's failures can prove instructive. That is true. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you I'm make sure you travels. do. All right, folks, we're going to bring this episode to a close right here. Okay, so we are about to get a Chocobo. Um, but we also got sidetracked with Chadley. So much has been dumped. So much has been done. So many different things. I love the uniqueness to the game. It is definitely different than than remake. It's going to be pulling my head in a couple different ways with all the different things that we can we can do. Uh, if somebody can tell me wh how come I can't change my party, what am I missing? Um, can I rearrange them? Because for some reason I missed that. I might have to either rewatch the tutorial, or if you wanted, you can just tell me what am I doing wrong <laughs> there. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for get to ride the chocobo and then go across the swampy area. And then we cut through the little, um, um, we're going to cut through the mountain. We're probably going to get in confronted by the Turks and oh my gosh, so much stuff is going on. So I can't wait to keep playing the game. Thanks for being here. If you haven't done so, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you'll be ready next time. All right. Take care, everybody.